Well, Pfizer has officially submitted its request to the FDA for emergency use authorization of its two-dose COVID vaccine for children six months to five years old. If the emergency authorization for the vaccine is granted, Shots for younger kids could become available as soon as early March. News Channel 3's Marion Bouchard reports tonight on what the vaccine rollout for younger kids might look like here at home in Riverside County. The nation's 19 million children under the age of five are the only group who don't yet qualify for the COVID vaccine, but that could soon change if it's approved by the FDA. So we're hoping to see that with this vaccine being rolled out, this will also help our kids not so much not get the infection, but not have to suffer the severe complications of COVID. Dr. Shangling Singh is the county's deputy public health officer. She says if the vaccine is approved for younger kids, the rollout would be similar to what has been done for those ages 5 to 11. The doses for younger kids would be one-tenth the size of the adult vaccine. Do you think the approval of the vaccine for kids ages five and under, would that make a big impact in our fight against COVID here locally if it is approved? You know, I do hope so. Um, we actually are seeing the highest rate of kids being infected with COVID-19. It's three times higher during this Omicron surge than it was during Delta. However, the rate for fully vaccinated kids 5 to 11 in Riverside County stands at 14%. That's less than the national rate of 21%. What we're looking to do is try to help parents have an outlet to ask questions when these new vaccines um, are released. She says the county wants to provide Q&A sessions and reach out through community and faith-based organizations to help address concerns. Parents of younger kids will soon be faced with the decision to vaccinate or not. I am definitely not interested in getting him the COVID vaccine. Rory Coddington is the parent of her two-year-old son, Callan. I am extremely concerned, for especially this age. There's just not been enough long-term research. Another Valley parent says she would vaccinate her one-year-old if the vaccine is approved. As scared as I am about COVID-19 um, and my son getting it, I'm also scared that I didn't do what I was supposed to and I didn't get him vaccinated and that something happens to him. So please reach out to your family doctor, your pediatrician, whoever you see for primary care to get more information about the vaccine. In La Quinta, Marion Bouchot, News Channel 3. If the vaccine for younger kids is approved by the FDA, it would then need to be approved by the CDC, followed by the state of California.